A few years ago, I stopped using store-bought deodorants, body oils, lotions, perfumes, etc. I switched to using essential oils, mainly because there's something very organic and satisfying in making your own. You know exactly what's in it and you can completely personalize it. Make it your own signature scent. I can honestly tell you, I have people in supermarkets asking me what perfume am I wearing and where can they get it? So there's absolutely no compromise on a beautiful fragrance. A lot of people find the thought of blending essential oils intimidating. So hopefully this video demystifies it a little bit for you and you give it a try. When I'm making a body oil, there are a few factors that I keep in mind. First, choose your carrier or base oil blend. Please watch my video on my favorite carrier oils where I list the properties of my top five. Next, choose your essential oil. As I use therapeutic grade essential oils, I keep the benefits physical and emotional in mind when blending. Keep your preference of fragrance in mind too. Do you like citrus, floral, spicy, herbal or woodsy fragrances? In the description below, you will find a PDF that will guide you in making your own body oil and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified when we release new recipes. What pace the essential oil evaporates at determines the note of the oil. Oils that evaporate fast and have an upfront aroma are known as top oils. Citrus oils are mostly top oils. Then in between are the middle note oils like geranium and then the base note oils that evaporate slowly and their scent lingers like clove. I'm mindful of this fact when mixing as it gives the blend depth and character. Again, the PDF below will help you with this. Last but not least, what emotional support are you looking for from the blend? Oils like peppermint and lemongrass are energizing. Lavender and ylang-ylang are calming. Juniper and lemon are detoxifying. So now I'm going to share my smelling good secret with you. Firstly, I use geranium as my deodorant. 50-50 dilution of geranium and fractionated coconut oil works for me. It's best you check your skin sensitivity for the dilution ratio. If you like a de deodorant that evaporates quickly, witch hazel is an option. I have a rollerball attached to it for convenience. For my body oil, I use raw organic coconut oil as my main base. As coconut oil is made up mainly of saturated fat, I like to whisk it up to get rid of any lumps. I have basically a cup of coconut oil here. After this, I like to add a bit of avocado oil into it. Avocado oil is very moisturizing. It contains omega-9, which is very good for the skin. As you can see, I've whisked it to a lovely creamy consistency. I like floral scents, so I use essential oils from flowers. To this, I am going to add 60 drops of geranium. Geranium is a middle note oil. Lavender is a top to middle note oil. I'm going to add 40 drops of lavender. I tend to swap between ylang ylang and patchouli. Ylang ylang is a middle to base, na base note oil and patchouli is a base note oil. So I tend to swap between the two. I'm going to use ylang ylang, the cupid oil. So I add 25 drops of ylang ylang. So 
It's almost like a body butter, almost. Mm, smells gorgeous. I now have a glass jar that I have sitting cleaned. Store your blend in a glass jar with a tight fitting lid. I like to leave my blend to synergize for a day before I use it. Some essential oils are lighter and can float to the top, so it's best to give the sh bottle a good shake a few times over the 24 hours. All the floral oils I have used have skin enhancing properties. Emotionally, most of us know that lavender is calming. My anchor scent is geranium. I love the fragrance of geranium. It's floral and fresh. Geranium and lavender work really well synergistically for hormonal balance. Geranium helps calm scattered or negative thought patterns and maintain focus. Patchouli is a grounding oil. It promotes a sense of security and strengthens the sense of self. Ylang Ylang is the Cupid oil. It encourages feelings of love for yourself and others. So give it a try. Don't be afraid to play around with it. Scent is a personal thing. Tweak it to suit you. Make it a bit stronger or make it a bit lighter. All on how you like it. Please message me with any questions or anything you would like to see on the channel. For further information and recipes, please like and subscribe to my channel.